Okay, here's a question. Uh, take a moment to read it. Then have a little think about the toolbox we're using. Uh, two main tools, really. There's this where position counts. We're placing things in a particular order. All right, NPR built in to the calculator. And that's the uh, 6 times 5, etc., etc., right? And then NCR, choosing or committees, right? The C helps you. This is combinations. Choosing your committees where order is not important. We just want a group of people. So every time you read a question, think about the toolbox. Think about which tools we might take out. So let's have a little look. Um, part A. How many different committees of three can be selected from 13? Well, well straight away, the, the clue is there, right? Committee. So committees of three, there's no particular position on the committees, you know, chair, vice chair, head of comms. So it literally is from 13 people, choose three, right? So how many combinations of three people from 13? Now you can reach for your calculator and just type this in as a, um, yeah, just as a mathematical operation into your calculator and out pops the answer. Um, if you don't have the built-in feature on your calculator, you will need to know that um, uh, NCR actually has a formula. It's N factorial over N minus R factorial, R factorial. So for our particular example, it's 13 factorial over 13 minus three, which is 10 factorial, and then three factorial. And the way we sort these out without a calculator, if you're doing this with, uh, with no calculator, the 13 factorial is just 13 all the way down integer values down to one. But we're going to just write down 10 here as 10 factorial all the way down to 1. And you can probably see why. Because I'm going to just rejig the bottom. That looks like this. And we can simplify before we multiply. So we can cancel common factors. And you can probably also see that 3 factorial here is just 3 times 2 is 6. And we're going to cancel that with the top with a 2. And then your final answer is 13 times 2 times 11. And you can go ahead and just do that. Again, non-calculator, that's 26 times 11. So that's 10 times 26, plus one times 26. And you can see that without a calculator, that's 286. That's part A done. And now part B. How many of these committees consist of the president and two others? Well, we've got to make certain assumptions here, right? That um, if we have 13 people, I think what it's saying is we'll designate one person as a president and that person will come from the original 13. So somewhere in that line of 13 people, right, there's a president. And what we're saying is how many different committees can we make with this specific person in it? And then we just have to choose, right, two from the remaining group, okay? So we park the president over here. Again, the question is not worded very well, right? It's um, we're assuming that there's someone in the original 13 who is the president and that person is included. Another variation of this is that one person is called uh, Steve-O and Steve-O needs to be included in the committee and how many types, of, how many committees can we have? Right, so let's put P here, and then can you see that actually just from the 12 remaining people, we're just choosing two. So this is just a question that is 12 choose two, or 12 combinations two. Again, straight to the calculator, or let's be fancy, 12 factorial over 10 factorial, two factorial, which is 12 times 11 over two times one. And here you can see that that is 66.